So we're gonna show you how to do a burnout brass car. But first you wanna engage the e-brake. Now the car is sitting still. Smash the pedal to the floor. What's up YouTube? That neon channel here again. It's Friday. The weekend is almost started. We're waiting on Shay. We got Brad here. He's changing his oil. And he's doing, I have no clue what else. I guess he's cleaning his hood. Let's get a shot of that. What are you doing? Cleaning mud. Cleaning mud. Cool. So what are you doing today? Changing your oil? Yeah. I'm going to change his oil. He's got the, uh, the Castro GTX high mileage 5W30. Good stuff. And a Mopar 409 oil filter. That's all we use around here. Let me turn this around. Believe it or not, guys. Believe it or not. It's actually daytime when I'm making a video. Imagine that. How long has it been since we did a daytime video? A real daytime video on our Neon. Forever. So we got Brad's suicide swap here. We're going to do some pulls in it after we change the oil. And uh, show you how the suicide swap works. Runs. He's got the first deck. No, I think it looks great. It's holding up awesome. So, uh, if you guys want to get yourself one of these, send us pictures and videos of your car. We really want snow drifts or burnout videos, and we're going to pick the best ones and send y'all a sticker. We haven't decided completely how we want to do it, but start sending us pictures and videos of your car to the email address in the description below to have a chance of getting yourself a pretty nice fucking Decno. So, yeah, Brad got himself a new battery also recently. So we got this nice new battery. We also had the brand new radiator already. It's 50 bucks. New uh, head gasket. New timing belt. Yeah, you pay 50 bucks for that battery. Don't ask how. Got the header on here. So we got some little bit of performance gains. Got the cold air intake. And we have a O1 RT came in here. So this car moves pretty good. We have the, uh, the AC deleted. So there's no AC, but we haven't completely deleted it belt wise um so what i'm trying to convince him to do now is cut his muffler off so we can get some more power out of this and more gains because these cars love not having back pressure and he's afraid of being too loud tell him it's not going to be that loud because these cars don't get that loud now if you took the cat off it's a different story we're just trying to delete the muffler so we can get a little bit more horsepower we also tinted the marker lights on this car which they look pretty decent all he really needs is some nice headlights and to dip this car. I love this little four-door. I already cut out a panel off of my old green four-door I had to fix this so we can fix that real nice. Fenders are cheap. We can get a fender for no, no money at all. So then we got our car, my car over here. I'm thinking about just boosting this 24NA on the stock internals just to do that for you guys you know see how much boost we can push to a, a stock t4 before i put the built motor in there because i'm really in no hurry to put the built motor in here but i really want boost i want that extra bit of oomph the only issue i'm going to have with the whole swap is, i mean the whole turbo is the exhaust you know loading up a new exhaust and i can do it i just i'm lazy plus i don't really want to get rid of my headers i like the long the, the all motor type but i need more power so Brad's gonna get the jack out, jack his car up, pop his drain plug out, drain the fluid, and we're gonna slap some new oil in there and do some pools. So I'll see you guys once he's done his oil. And when I decide to do something in my car, I'll let you know. I just don't know what to do yet. It kind of runs perfectly, so I don't want to fuck with it. The only thing that needs fucked with is the tune, and I'm not a tuner, so I don't know what to do. I don't know. I just feel like my car has more power hidden somewhere, but everything's been deleted. The balance shaft's been deleted, power steering, AC, everything that's pulling drag off the motor. It's got no cat, it's got long tube header, it's got a bigger muffler, it's got a ported intake, built head that's been port and polished with valve springs and tanner. EGR has been deleted, um, got adjustable cam gears. I could probably adjust those to get a little bit more power, but I'm not smart when it comes to that kind of stuff. I let my friends do that because I'm not really good with tuning. Um, we got a, kind of a bigger throttle body. It's a bigger factory throttle body. It's not upgraded. I got the Mopar ECU. I should have plenty of power. Five-speed trains. 
but for some reason it still lacks power to what I like. You know, I could do a pool and smoke some Hondas and shit, but I want more power. But we'll be back once Brad gets his done. See you in a little while. This is rare, guys. I had to get a couple shots of this. Brad working on his car. If he could do this more often, it'd be awesome because then I'd have a car friend. Lefty Lucy, ready tiny. You want me to double check so you don't strip it out? Let me see it. I don't want to change your oil pan. Yeah, you ready to go? Just click that old nut off there and. Let it drain, let it drain. Something, something. Yeah. I don't want it. <laughs> huh? Nothing. Wasn't sure if I still needed it. Real fast. Probably need to try and slide the oil pan back up. Oh, perfect. Yeah, that oil looks nice. No, it's still good. It looks like it. Yeah, it kind of does. It don't look too dirty. It ain't gonna hurt to change it. Mm -hmm. I don't know why my phone won't focus on it. What the fuck? Are you fucking kidding me, dude? It won't focus. Shit. There we go. You see how clean that oil is? Oh, well. It came out of there nice and thin, too. I'll save that oil for, like, head bolts or something. Probably not. See you once we're done. Hey right, guys, Brad guys, oil changed. It's nice and clean, perfect. Bang, you can see it's like right at the line, so we're good there. His training fluid's good, nice and red. His car's good to go. Oh, did you check the antifreeze? Mm -hmm. good. I don't like taking that cover off. That's good. I got the wheels changed on the PT. We took it for a ride, put the top down, or I took it for a ride. Um, these back two wheels are fucked. Like, whoever owned this car before, very didn't take care of it, because you can hear that shit. I can feel it when I'm driving. It's like, ding, 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 because the wheel's loose. They need tightened down more or something. This wheel was a motherfucker to get off. It took me and Brad both kicking it, and then I had to go and take a pry bar aside between the brake and the uh, whim. So I got that off and I put that one on. Dude, this thing did a sick ass peel for what it is, you know. I did a peel up there. We'll do another one later for you guys. Still thinking about turbo in my car. We got a muffler here for Brad's car. I'm trying to convince him to cut his off and weld this one on so we have a video, or at least cut it off, let it sit off for a day or two, then weld this one on. Just because it'll make his car a little bit faster than what it already is. Your car's coming together, dude. If your front end was just a little bit lower, your car wouldn't look too bad. Because the back's are already lower with the Mopar high rates. We just need the front down. But yeah, I really think I'm going to stick a turbo in here. Just haven't decided whether I'm going to do it or not yet. But uh, yeah, this thing turned out pretty fun. Now that we can actually drive it with these steelies in here. The 17s that came on it, one had a big dent and was flat all the time. And you know, it wouldn't hold air. The 17s I have rubbed the inner side of the freaking brake the uh, caliper you can see how fucked it is got circle all the way around yeah that's from that fucking rotor and then the SRT wheels don't have any tires if I could get the tires off the the PTGT wheels and put them on the SRT rims we'd have something going but whatever um yeah so we'll be back when we figure out what we're gonna do next so we're gonna show you how to do a burnout brass car so first you want to engage the e-brake now the car is sitting still, smash the pedal to the floor.
there should have been a pretty sick one. Throw it back up and see what kind of marks we left. Yeah, boy. Look at those dualies, dude. You must have spun them both or we just dragged both the back tires. Or you could also put your foot on the brake and the gas at the same time. Just turn our wheel because we're going that way. And just drop the gas pedal. Oh, wait for this car to go by. I don't want to hit anybody. Got to be responsible. Yeah, boy. We smoked the tires back here. You see all that smoke, guys? Yeah, watch this VTAC hit in. That's a single cam suicide smoke. Single cam head, dual cam bottom end. I don't want to pull Ben. That's where he crashed. He hit a fucking telephone pole in his first car. His Nissan Spectra. That was the nicest car he ever had. He fucking destroyed it. This single cam, well, a single cam top end on this dual cam bottom end has some nice pulling power. I'm pretty happy with it. Brad, don't use it. It's like VTEC, you can hear it. Being an automatic, this car does do pretty good. As long as you keep the RPMs up, you're good. Dual cam bottom end, single cam top end. We call it a suicide swap in the neon world. I don't know what y'all call it in Honda world, if you can do it on a Honda or not. And some more turns for you guys. On the way back to the house. These are 10 mile an hour turns. We're taking it 40. It's kind of hard for me to. little cruise in Brad's car, back road cruise in Brad's single can swap, suicide swap, whatever you want to call this shit. Fast. Peace.